smoking deep in Tennessee with my brothers from the three. We quick to click and break the beast. No respect for what they think. Yo, what's good, everybody? What up, YouTube world? It's your boy back at it with another video and this time I want to talk about those little killer bees that is coming out in North America. I ain't talking about Wu-Tang Clan but you know I'm talking about the giant hornet bees that is kind of like coming in the, um, in the United States borders and whatnot. So um, I was told to do a video based on that so you know I'm not really into like doing videos based on wild animals and shit this is not the National Geographic or whatever but I insist on doing it because I ain't got nothing else to do but just go ahead and just explain basically my opinion based on the giant hornet bees the little killer bees I mean they're not even little but I mean they they some killer motherfuckers though so what I've read on like NBC and all these other articles about how these bees came from like in Asia somewhere and it's like god damn it why is Asia always giving us unnecessary shit you know like we already got the fucking virus now we got fucking giant bees like come on man like America's getting fucked all over again with some bullshit we got a fucking coronavirus now we got a fucking giant fucking bee and they ten times worse than a honeybee so on some gang shit it's kind of like the honeybee the the honeybees are losing their territory the territory because you know them giant ass bees are just kind of like taking over the beehives and stealing the honeycombs and shit Cause it's kind of like they taking over this bitch, so I feel like yo, this is crazy, man. We are learning all these different animals and shit, and all of a sudden it's like we got some fucking bees that are like yo, they ten times worse than a normal bee. By saying so, it's because the way that it's the stinger is is that the it's it's, it contains more venom and they will sting you 10 times more than an actual bee because an actual bee is when they sting you their energy kind of dies out and then next day you know it they die out too once they sting when they feel like they've been threatened however the giant hornet bee this motherfucker will constantly stab you with this stinger and it's kind of like a scorpion mixed with a snake in a bee's body you know so it's like imagine you being around a bee drill on some pokemon shit that's how this motherfucker go ham on motherfuckers like it's just like any other bee if you use your fucking common sense, don't go near them motherfuckers. They're very territorial, just like us, just like any other wild animal. Stay the fuck away from their sight. If they're going to collect some honey and go into beehives and shit, hey, that's on them. But if you, if you see a giant ass fucking hornet be or whatever then don't go fucking near it <laughs> i live in new york so i feel like what we need to worry about is these fucking giant ass rats and whatnot so i don't live in no suburbia or somewhere in the woods or the mountains or something like that but they're saying that it's only in like washington state or some other northern regions of the united states like you know in the rocky mountains or forest like or whatever uh but i wouldn't be surprised if these bees would grow a little bit more but to me i mean we have all types of insects in in the united states but again living in new york it's like the only insects we know are like mosquitoes flies 
fucking cockroaches, water bugs, uh, shit, our fucking issue is fucking bed bugs, with these dirty ass nasty motherfuckers who can't take care of their house, you know, you got the motherfuckers that's worse than fucking getting our skin, taking our blood, more than some goddamn giant hornet, you know what I'm saying, if we do see a giant hornet, you know, niggas is not gonna think twice to go near it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will say like, yo, fuck it. I'm not going into that motherfucker with me. You know what I mean? So, you know, if there are kids around, then you gotta make sure that they're cautious. But, again, this is something that I don't really get two shits about. But at the same time, it's like... This is kind of like, yo, what the fuck did Mother Nature pretty much gave us, you know? And why the fuck that Asia always got to give us their bullshit, you know? Like, again, we got coronavirus. Why do we want a two-inch fucking killer bee come just, you know, sticking motherfuckers and shit? So, anyways, y'all. I, I got to say that you got to be careful from your surroundings. Don't go near them motherfuckers. So, just like when you dealing with this pandemic, you know, if you gotta go to work, if you gotta, you know, go to the store, if you wanna do your little jogging or whatever, do that. But just keep it from a bare minimum of doing it. Like maybe an hour or so, or maybe an hour or two. I mean, i rather do the way how I feel like. If I feel like I am want to stay outside, I'll probably be there for a good hour or two. And, then, and after that, I'm getting fucked back in the house. Back to my quarantine shit. So, anyways, guys, I'm done. Please leave your comments on the comment sections below. I'd love to know everybody's opinion. Make sure you hit that bell icon, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until then, folks. SBX wrapping this up. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Respect the quarantine. And see you on the crossroads. Peace.